All right, so here's the <clears throat> gyro mission five gyro to gyro. Uh, this is the solution here, and I'm going to show you how I got to it. Um, so the first thing I do with the gyro sensor, uh, which is what I've been trying to tell people when we start doing the, the live class, the gyro sensor, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to use the remote control and this heads-up display here. I don't need all these things. I don't need to see them all. Um, but they're not going away. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is go to see uh, how far I'm supposed to turn. And the turn here is, is 120 degrees. Um, first turn, negative 120. Then I'm going to go, and I'm kind of counting in my head. pretty good way to go by is for every battery can it's about a second forward if you're going at 100 speed uh, so then see right now I'm at 100 or negative 120 if I go back to the left so I get back to the straight it should be back to at about zero um, and then once I go forward I can get to the end I'm not gonna go all the way in because it will tell me I screwed up uh, so First thing I need is one of these drive power blocks. And in it, I need a direction or, or a steering, excuse me. Throw the data in there. And that's going to be at 100 for right hand turn. And then I go, not that one. Oops. Then I'm going to go to get the gyro sensor angle. Um, and since this angle is negative 120, the first thing I want to do is make sure that I have it at less than or equal to negative 120. If you have it at greater than or equal to negative 120, it will um, it will just go forward right away because zero is already greater than or equal to negative 120. Uh, then I have to go forward and set a duration. In this case, I counted 10 blocks that or 10 battery packs that I picked up, so I'm going to assume it's about 10 seconds. And I'm going to duplicate this one by right-clicking and hitting the duplicate button. This way, all I have to do now is change the steering from positive 100 to negative 100 to turn back the opposite way. Duplicate this one. And this time, I'm going to switch it to the there. And if you remember, we went back to zero. The reason I'm doing greater than or equal to zero is because you're already starting at the negative number. And then the last thing I want to do is just go forward again until we hit the target. All right, let's check to see if it works. All right, that was way off. Let's try that again. Oh, you know why? Because I'm going so fast. Uh, forgot to mention when you're doing the gyro sensor, make sure you go nice and slow. There'll be a time you have to go faster and we'll get to that when we get there. But for right now, go slow or you'll end up going way off track uh, because the sensor doesn't have time to read the changes and make the adjustments. All right, so that's uh, gyro to gyro. That's gyro sensor uh, lesson number five. Any questions, post them in the, the video comments uh, on Classroom.